Hello guys and welcome back to another Explore. Today I'm going to be exploring an abandoned restaurant. This actual property, without giving too much information away, is an old manor house and it dates back as far as the 1800s. Now in its time it's been many different things. So it closed as a restaurant, I don't actually know when it closed but it looks like it was definitely before like Covid as there was planning permission that went in to convert it roughly around 2017. The last review that I could see online was 2013 and it wasn't given the best review. Now, this place was many different things. I believe it was a wedding venue at one point. Also as well, as you're gonna see in this video, there's loads of different rooms with different bars. Uh, so grab yourself a drink, get yourself comfy as we explore this lovely gem. So this looked like it would have been maybe a bar area with maybe a potential um, DJ area as well because as you can see up there there's a light up on the ceiling and there's another one just above me there as well and another one in that corner up there so it looks like potentially oh and the uh, smashed disco spool that um, disco ball that's in about 70 billion pieces so yeah it looks like that would have probably been some sort of nightclub area in here probably like um, some of the uh, slug and lettuces that you get today where during the day it's like a restaurant and then in the evening it's like a hectic bar if you look up there as well I've got like little areas where you could probably go and sit upstairs and look over on the balcony so yeah anyway guys i'm here doing this explore on my own today but it is a bit interesting on your own i have to admit You can hear that buzzing noise, that's a, that's a fly. It's like it's almost like followed me in since I've got here. I'm just gonna quickly go back to the bar, not to go and get a drink, but just to go and make sure I'm not missing any, anything good. So, before I start trying to open up doors and getting lost in other places of this property. So this place is absolutely huge. It's got a lot of history. And it has been closed now for a while. Um, if you're watching now and you've never done an explore on your own before, then actually quite fun but if you have done explore on your own then drop a comment in the video below and let us know how you found it and if you regularly do explores on your own or if you've just done one and didn't enjoy it or you did enjoy it yeah Ooh. that's like a um cool looking room in there um, it's an absolute maze here's where it all begins yeah I bet it does always begins in a basement doesn't it wedding photos down here. Look at that. It's 
So this might have been like some sort of um, venue down the stairs for weddings. So they got like an area here, which was probably where what well, well, these tables are here is probably because they used to have the buffets here. And then after that, you'd spill out into the um, nightclub area again. So you've got like a little DJ booth up there. And loads and loads of seating areas over here. Again, more seating area over here. And I was just thinking, where would the bar be? And I just realised it's over here to the left. And if you're one for a straw, you're in luck at this place because they've got loads. But yeah, look at that, it's got some old classics here. Okay, so I'm back on the main dance floor again. I'm just going to go and have a quick look at that upper level up there again. Just to see if there's anything cool up there. Or if it's just a overlook. I just assume this is probably a little seating area to look out. Yeah, so there's some booths up here. Lots of cobwebs everywhere. Another bar. And a basement. That just leads back downstairs again. So, nothing more there to see. And we'll go down this way. keep thinking this place is bigger. Looks like you could look through there, but it's actually just a mirror. <laughs> okay, so I'm back to the stairwell. Let's just see what's in this door straight ahead before we go upstairs. Oh, wow. Oh my God, look at this place. There's the bar. There's a piano. Let's see if it works, shall we? Yeah, still works. God, look at that. Stainless, stained glass windows on the entrance. That is absolutely crazy. And look at that, look at that chandelier. Oh my God, that chandelier is unbelievable. Look at it. That is so cool. Those windows though are amazing. Wow. Quite spooky. But most of all, look at this staircase. That is 
unbelievable. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, and it gets better as well. Look at that. Above the staircase. Oh my God. Stained glass roof. It's just so awesome, isn't it, this? God. I know we say it in like all of our videos, but I bet this place was awesome when it was around. <laughs> Most overused word on our channel, that is. <laughs> this is just crazy. So far this year, there has been literally like so many good explores. Oh, there's another piano over there. This place really did have a bit of life and character to it, didn't it? With all the pianos, different rooms. Christ. <laughs> yeah, this place had so much character to it. Oh, look at the... Um, little chandelier up there. It's actually a uh, hat. <laughs> I just can't get over that staircase. That staircase is absolutely amazing. Literally like every room has only got a bar. Conference room. <laughs> That's where the conference table that one was. Yeah. Not much in this one, this room. Surprised there's not another bar in it. <laughs> oh man. I want to see this place. Sadly though, this place will most likely not end up becoming what it once was. Let's have a look and see what's in this room, shall we? Mm, nothing exciting in there. Just a box standard room. Man, just digest that what's in here then probably toilets I'd imagine yeah not wrong oh, we don't need to go in there <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I can't go over this roof up there and literally that staircase. That's just amazing. Oh, okay, so gents would have been over there and ladies would have been to the left there. And oh, look at that, look. <laughs> That's the wrong rail. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's through here then. Imagine this will be the kitchen. 
Look at that again, more stained glass. This place has probably got more stained glass than an actual church has got. Oh yeah, let's see. This is the uh, kitchen. outside so nothing to see there there was a room though just to the right hand side over here just before we came in I thought it was going to lead out into the kitchen but it hasn't so let's see what might be in that room live football games for December Oh God, wow, I wish I hadn't seen the room now. <laughs> okay, that's quite interesting. I've just noticed something actually, I thought that was going to be it now. But if you remember rightly, in this door through here, there's an upstairs. So this must be the staff area then I would imagine. Do not obstruct the passageway. Okay. Keep area clear of objects at all times. I'm guessing people used to dump stuff here then. Never a fan when it's wooden flooring. go in there it's probably just bedrooms look at that look it's exactly why I don't like wooden flooring utility room again. Lots of cutlery. Also some glass cups. Even a till register down there. Let's have a look for a bit. Oh no, it's not going to be another party room is it? Look at all the straws on the floor again. Ah, that was the room that we were in just a minute ago. Because <laughs> now we're back again at the top of the staircase. Hmm, interesting. I was starting to think that there was going to be another room with another bar that we hadn't already seen before. So what's up these stairs then? More rooms, I think. Honestly, this place is huge. And look, more amazing flooring. Love it. stairs we got in this place. Oh. Almost like the attic that isn't an attic. Interesting. Probably storage area I'd imagine. Or maybe a bedroom at one point. Upstairs bedroom. 
it's just going to be a bedroom through there. Let's see where these stairs up here lead to then. Another storage room, which again would have probably been a bedroom years ago. Oh, is this the attic? Oh wow. <laughs> oh, let me adjust the light in. Right. I mean, I don't know how safe this floor is. And I really don't want to find out either, but take my word for it. This here, all of this is the glass stained uh, window that looks straight down the bottom of the stairs. But I don't want to find out how safe this floor is by walking out there. But let me see if I can reposition the camera. So we've got this on a stick, haven't I? There you go. And if you guys can see that, it's annoying. There's a plank of wood in the way. And it looks straight down. That's the stained glass. Doesn't look colourful from up here, but yeah. Oh. Right. But yeah, this would have just been storage, I'd imagine. Again. Interesting window at the top there as well. I guess that's to allow for light to come into the building and then shine down on the stained glass. Not that I'm a uh, expert in building, but I think that's quite an obvious statement. Right, let's be back into uh, light mode. Well, this is quite the uh, building, isn't it? Look at that, that's just a real. I can hear rats. Okay, then, so time to head back down. So it turns out it's like three flights, three stories high in total. Actually, no, I think it's four if you count that little roof top space. So, yeah. yeah this is absolutely crazy, this is. That's that basement again, I'm not going down there, I don't need to go down there, I would have been down there once. Once is enough. I think that might be it. So then guys, this has been it, um, what an explore, <laughs> definitely worth the four and a half hour drive that it took me to get up here, like that was crazy. That. This has been an awesome explore, some really good stuff like staircase, stained glass windows, um, pianos, all the different bars, all the different rooms. It's just been a really awesome explore. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media platforms that we're on um, so that you can see all the awesome photos that we capture. And also as well, when we're kind of going out and doing stories um, and all the behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, definitely make sure you follow us on our social media platforms. And until next time, we will see you in our next video. Goodbye.